Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to teach you guys how to use Trino with Kubernetes running locally in easy steps. So this video shows you how to install and how to configure it and how to get started in seconds with Trino and Kubernetes running locally. So without wasting any further time let's get straight into action. All right first step is you need uh, Docker desktop. If you are on Windows or Mac, irrespective, come to the website and download the Docker either for Windows, Mac or Linux. Assuming that you have installed Docker desktop, now the next step, you need to open Docker desktop. Uh, once you have opened Docker desktop, make sure you have logged in, then click on this icon settings, head over to Kubernetes and then enable Kubernetes over here and then click on apply and restart. These usually take about five to 10 minutes to apply these settings. But once those are done, now the next step is we need, need, we need to install Helm and kubectl. So head over to your terminal and simply put, uh, you know, brew install Helm. This should install Helm, as you can see. I already have it installed, so I'm getting a message saying that uh, Helm is already installed. Uh, then install kubectl and this will install the kubectl. Now you can verify by the command helm. If you type this on terminal, you should see uh, these uh, helper commands, which means helm is now installed. So now you have uh, Docker desktop, you have helm, and now you have um, kubectl installed, right? So now the next step, what we need to do is um, come to the repository or the snippets. We will add a repository called Trino, and this is gonna be the URL https colon slash slash trino db dot github dot io slash charts copy this paste this one here as you can see trino has now been added so now you can verify by helm repo list and you should see the trino repo over here great now the next step that you need to do is we need to uh, start the trino cluster so you can use the word helm install give a name to your cluster. I am giving a name called example Trino cluster, right? And then I'm setting the worker to two and I'm using the image 400, the version 400 for Trino, right? Pretty straightforward. So copy, paste. And here you can see now it's deployed. Now this usually takes about five to 10 minutes. So what you wanna do is you wanna say kubectl get pods and you should see all the pods in the running state. So give it a couple of seconds. If these are not in the running state, just wait for a couple of minutes and then you should see all the pods in the running state. So well, hopefully your pods are in the running state, head over to Chrome, open up localhost 8080. Username will be admin and congratulations. Here you see your Trino over here. Here you can see the two workers. Now, hey, uh, let's open up Jupyter Notebook and run some sample commands, okay? So let me uh, go to my terminal. I'm gonna say Jupyter Notebook. I can start querying the TPC DS data, right? So let's see Trino on K8's demo. So first of all, make sure you install Trino, pip install Trino, and then pip install IPython SQL. This allows you to run your interactive SQL, right? You don't need to write any code, simply just run SQL. So first, uh, this is the URL, trino colon slash slash admin, at the rate localhost 8080 default. And then I'm using tpcds.sf10000. Uh, so we'll do that. And then you can start running queries over here. For example, select everything from customer limit to. As you can see, I see the data frame on my Jupyter notebook. Now, the interesting thing about Kubernetes is you can easily scale up or down the pods, right? Uh, so let's, let's, you guys can come and play with this. For example, now you can say, uh, right now we have two pods, as you can see, you can keep increasing the pod and you can keep running queries and see the difference, of course. So let's do probably three pods. So I'll run this command, helm upgrade, the cluster name that is example Trino cluster, Trino Trino set worker is equal to three uh, and hopefully makes sense. So now if you go back here, Within a couple of seconds, this usually takes about a couple of minutes to like apply, right? Yeah, finally, I, I think uh, it's uh, now three. I think it takes a little bit time, couple of seconds to like apply. So, you know, just be patient. Here you can see the pod is three. Now, of course you can run the count query. This will take about 
roughly around 120 to 130 milliseconds so i'm just saying you know count everything from this particular table right and here you can see things are now working in action right of course now you can change the pod to four five six seven eight whatever you like based on your use case um so yeah let's let's wait a little bit to get the results over here and then of course you can play with the memory the pods etc all the settings for sure but again this guide all i wanted to do is you know simply show you a simple hello world right here you can see i got the result back so it's that easy it's not difficult it's not complicated yeah uh, if you're a beginner and if you do not know anything about kubernetes i recommend i do have an entire crash course and playlist on my youtube absolutely free which you can watch where you can learn the concept of what is a pod what is a service what is a deployment everything right with that being said keep smiling keep programming and if you have any further question do list your question in the comment window and i will see you in the next uh, video